Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the second part and this is where the fun begins. Uh, we are going to build a pipeline, Jenkins pipeline from scratch. So in this pipeline, what we are basically going to do is uh, launch an EC2 instance using Jenkins, right? So if I can show you, probably if that makes sense, okay. So this is our Jenkins server, right? Call it J and we are going to build an EC2 instance. Right. So we are going to create a pipeline. Pipeline will run and that pipeline is going to create an EC2 instance for us. All right. Uh, but before that, we need to do a few things. Like uh, you actually have to give. So where is my AWS console? Here it is. Oh, let me just first get rid of this. Okay. Yeah, so you need to go to AWS console and go to EC2 instance where Jenkins server is running. <laughs> and and not here, in fact, you need to go to IAM. And we are going to create one role. Mm, create role. Yes, AWS service. And this is going to be an EC2 role because this Jenkins machine is actually going to create or launch uh, infrastructure on our behalf, right? So this should have access to launch infrastructure. So next, I'll give it administrator access. But if you are doing this for your organization, probably you would want more uh, refined access. But for, for the example purpose, I'm just giving it administrator access. I'll call this Jenkins admin. And we'll just create the role. Role is created. Now we can go to EC2. And look for instance actions. Where is it? Modify I am role. So we'll just to Jenkins admin. All right, and update. So now we have now we have attached a Jenkins admin role to this instance. So this instance or just Jenkins server can actually launch infrastructure for us, right? Okay. And if I go back to my console, so this is where we have cloned the repo. And I just need to show you some code that I've written. We'll just go into CD deployment. I'll just cat out a main.tf file. So I've just written a Terraform file, which is basically creating a simple EC2 instance doing nothing. So you can see provider is, is AWS and region default is US East one. Uh, so this is not what I want basically. So I can just do, so I've updated the region. So if I do a git pull, yeah, this should be the correct one. All right, so yeah, so region is US West 2 because we I was just trying it out in US East 1. So now we have updated the region to US West 2. Uh, for VPC, it is going to select a VPC with the name Project VPC. So I have a name a VPC with name Project VPC. And then I'm going to find the subnets which are there in that. And then I'm also going to find an AMI for Amazon Linux 2, the latest AMI, right? And all this I'm doing using the data block in Terraform. And then I'm just creating the instance uh, with AMI, which is coming from data block. And then again, instance type is T2 micro and then subnet, which is again coming. So I've not tested this code. So I'm not sure if this is going to run or not, but we'll fix the errors which we see, right? So nobody has written a Jenkins pipeline, like 100% correct in first go, right? So that's what I have seen. Let me clear the screen. And let's go to our Jenkins and go to new item. And we'll call it Terraform deployment. And this is going to be a pipeline. And okay, we're going to create it. And we'll just call it deploys EC2 instances 
come to pipeline script for we are going to select script from SCM and SCM is going to be get repo URL so we just need to copy the repo URL so I'll just do remote just copy this all right credentials none because we don't need but in your case you probably might want to authenticate with kit if you are running in your organization but since this is a public repo I don't need to authenticate and branch would be main and the name of the file is Jenkins file so I'll just save this and now I'm going to show you what is there in my Jenkins file because there's a lot of stuff going in the Jenkins file. Okay, so let's just go at the top of it. So first I have a function in Groovy, which, which is called install Terraform. And this function is basically doing nothing but installing Terraform on my Jenkins agent, which is basically my Jenkins server. So in Jenkins, you can actually have multiple agents. So I didn't show you how to create multiple agent because I'm running it on the Jenkins server, which I've created. But in case you are creating multiple agents, so you need to install Terraform because Terraform would not be installed by default on that, right? So I'm first installing the Terraform on this Jenkins agent. And then from here, my pipeline begins, right? So this is I'm clearing the workspace every time I run the build. Then I'm checking out the SCM or basically checking out the Git repository. Then I'm calling this function install Terraform, which is going to install Terraform. And then I have another stage of Terraform deployment, which is basically going to CD into the deployment uh, directory, do a Terraform init, do a Terraform plan, and then do a Terraform apply, right? So this is ba very basic Jenkins pipeline, but this is from scratch. You can actually build upon this. Most of the pipelines I have seen only have like a bunch of steps. So you try to reduce the number of steps and stages, uh, probably have multiple pipelines rather than doing that, okay? So let me clear the screen and let's go back to our pipeline and we'll just try to build it because we have everything. Let's see what happens. Where does it fail? So if it fails, we'll, we are going to fix the errors. So you can see Terraform installation completed and Terraform deployment failed. All right. So why is it so? So you can see this error, sudo mv. And I know why this is coming because this pipeline is getting executed as Jenkins user. And Jenkins user, when he's trying to do sudo, it is asking for password, right? So in order to fix this, you have two options. You either run your Jenkins pipeline in Docker containers on the Jenkins server, or you basically, what you can do is you go to etc sudoers file, Go at the bottom. And in here, we are going to add the Jenkins user. Oh. Let's go into insert mode. Jenkins. No. T colon all. All right. So this you need to add and save this file. And let's go back to our pipeline again. And let's build it again. Let's see if this runs or fails again. Terraform plan succeeded. And you can see Terraform apply has also started. That means if I go to my AWS console and just look for the instances, so you can see my instance has actually started, right? So the pipeline is actually working. 
So let's just wait for this pipeline to finish. But we know that we have a working pipeline now. And you probably know how to build a pipeline. So you can see a pipeline finished in success. Let's go to our instance. The state is running and that is what we wanted, right? I mean, I showed you a very basic Terraform code, but you can have like, uh, you can be probably installing something from a module or something like that. But uh, the basic structure remains the same, right? So if you look at this Jenkins file, probably the number of steps may be differ. I mean, you probably, instead of entering into a deployment directory, you might be entering, running Terraform from, from some other uh, directory. You probably may need to install a bunch of other stuff. I'm just installing Terraform. Probably you have to do a lot of other installation, but the basic structure of a pipeline remains the same. So you have a Jenkins file where you define or you codify your pipeline, and then you just go on the Jenkins server, build a pipeline, and then just point it to the Jenkins file. That's basically what you're doing. All right, so that's all for this video series. This was a two part series. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you basically had have a better understanding of how Jenkins pipeline works and how they are created from scratch, right? Cool, so that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.